you so much for joining us today. Uh, we're going to give you a webinar that talks a little bit about leader standard work and lean leadership behaviors. This is a bit of a preview for our upcoming e-learning class that's happening on the 17th and the 18th of this month. Uh, the class goes two days, noon to four Eastern time. Um, it is completely remote. Uh, we use the Zoom platform and um, we would love to see everybody attend because uh, it's gonna cover all of the concepts we're gonna talk about today, along with uh, going into some, some depth on some others. So uh, before we jump into everything here, I'll introduce myself and I'll introduce Kathy. Um, I am Rob Murley. I, uh, I'm the COO of the Murley Group. I run operations. I also work as a lean coach. And uh, with us today presenting, we have Kathy Hanley. Um, Kathy, we feel very fortunate to have you uh, presenting today. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, be happy to, Rob. Thanks. Um, I've uh, been in the uh, lean coaching world and business for uh, about uh, 12 years now with the Murley Group. Uh, previous to that, I held positions, executive positions with various companies, but the launch of my lean journey actually started with um, Toyota and Toyota Motor Manufacturing Kentucky in 1987. So a long time student of lean and lean management systems. All right. Yeah. Thanks again for joining us. I uh, feel very happy to have you here today. Um, a little bit about us. Um, we have coaches throughout the world. We participate in many different industries. Uh, we were founded in 2002. And uh, we have a few different books on various lean subjects. Um, a little bit about what we actually do. Um, we do uh, coaching and consulting, that's our bread and butter. So we do step-by-step -step customized approaches to a complete lean organizational transformation. Uh, we also do individual lean events, so we can help out with things like uh, value stream mapping, uh, individual Kaizen events, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and also we provide training and e-learning. So since uh, we've entered the uh, new world of living with a pandemic, um, we've really leaned hard into our e-learning offerings. Uh, we offer a full boat curriculum on uh, many lean topics that uh, will help any organization uh, walk their way through a lean transformation. Today, we're gonna to be talking about leader standard work and lean leadership behaviors. Um, with that being said, Kathy, take it away. All right, thanks, Rob. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, the workshop objectives, first of all, is we really wanna understand what's the purpose of uh, leadership standard work uh, and what are the some of the associated uh, lean leadership behaviors that we expect uh, leaders to work on as they're developing their skills within um, the lean management system. We're going to look at some attributes uh, necessary for the work uh, environment and uh, try to optimize the impact of leader standard work and lean leadership behavior. In the, um, in the two day uh, course, we actually take a deep dive into each of the four elements of leader standard work so that you understand them uh, in more detail and understand the role of the leader uh, in each one of those elements. We also spend some time trying to understand the culture of a lean thinking organization and also uh, work to help you evaluate your own culture relative uh, to a lean thinking organization model. And then we pull all of that together uh, into a, a lean thinking culture. And we always want you to remember that it's everybody every day at every level focusing on 
transformation in the workplace. So first, just a little bit about what is lean. Most of you probably uh, know the answer to this question, but the first principle of lean that we always cover is really the, the opportunity to ask every day, how did we do yesterday? Where was the waste? And how can we do it better today? And we do that through the multiple forms of leader standard work. Um, those give us the opportunity to reflect on where we are, what we need to be doing, and what improvements do we need to drive in order to not only get to where we want to go, but stay where we want to go. So this is our model of the lean management system. And you'll see that we have six major components of the lean management system. The first one is true north. So this is the purpose. What is the purpose of uh, your organization? What does it intend to accomplish? And what are your goals to get there? Next is the development of standard work within the processes or value streams of the organization. So really establishing the work criteria that allow us to accomplish um, the performance requirements um, of the processes, whether those are actual manufacturing processes, healthcare service provision processes, um, interactive uh, processes, transactional processes, whatever those may be. Setting up each one of those processes as well as each operator within the process to be able to execute with top quality, right on time, um, and within the cost requirements or effectiveness requirements of the process. We um, work with our clients to set up visual management systems that help develop transparency for the whole organization in terms of where are you both in um, your key performance indicators as well as in your journey towards your goals uh, and strategies for the organization. So bringing that, uh, that together and integrating it within the visual management system um, is, is part of our work. We also work on the people systems side of a, of a lean management system, and we focus our efforts on what is unique to a lean culture? What will be the requirements of the people who are um, residents within the culture? What will be the things that will need to be changed so that people can actually function effectively within the lean management system? So really working through what what are the requirements? And we focus when we are looking at people's systems, we focus on the employee life cycle. So we're really looking with the leadership of the organization as well as the human resource function within the organization to understand in the employee life cycle, um, what are we doing to attract talent once we uh, get that talent and get them into our system? What are we doing to retain that talent? And then once we have, we have them on board and they are acclimated to the culture, how are we keeping them motivated or inspired within the system? And then what does the system need to do uh, in the employee life cycle to reinforce appropriate behavior, uh, appropriate execution of performance, uh, 
um, all the different components that make sure that the lean management system is stable and continues to advance. Then we look at leader standard work and uh, leadership behaviors. And that's what the class on August 17th and 18th uh, will be focused on. So uh, implementing lean is not just about saying we're gonna be a lean organization and oh, here people have um, things to do. You now frontline operators or direct service providers in the organization, you currently have this standard work to follow. Not only do the operators and those um, within the system need to change, but leaders need to, to act differently, behave differently, and, um, and also, um, I'm sorry, I was looking at a question that popped up. I think we'll hold those questions to the end. Am I right about that, Rob? Yep, that makes sense. You know, let's run through the, uh, the talk, and at the very end, we could do a little Q&A. Great. That we'll sounds go good. It. Yep. So, um, so we're looking at the things that leaders need to do differently because you cannot continue to lead in a traditional manner and uh, expect the organization to transform and most importantly, the culture of the organization to transform from a traditional management system to a lean management system without actually paying attention to um, the, the work and the behaviors of leaders. And then the final component of a lean management system is accountability. So when we talk about accountability, we're really talking about holding ourselves accountable for uh, making it through the transformation and then further on through the organization, holding ourselves accountable for accomplishing the overall goals and the key performance indicators. Um, that are at play in the organization. So this is our model. We work with clients both within each component of the system, and then we also uh, work and plan a complete implementation where over a period of time, we will cover each and every one of these components in a, in a plan that's put together for just for you. Okay, there we go. So let's talk about lean as, um, as a function of continuous improvement. And, um, you know, one of the things that's, one of the, the uh, slides that commonly uh, is shown in the lean world is this particular one. I'm gonna take just a minute to walk through the idea of this one. And then we're gonna talk a little bit more about how leader standard work really contributes to the organization's ability to make its way up the incline of continuous improvement. So we start out by establishing standard work based on the, the key performance indicators for the organization. Um, and then once we have standard work in place and we have a visual management system up and running, then we are in the process of, we begin the launch of, of continuous improvement and we're looking for the problems that come up in trying to um, achieve our goals and transform the organization. Once a problem has been identified, then we're going to be looking to move from um, the current problem condition through a problem solving cycle. And we use a basic PDCA problem solving cycle. Uh, problem solving uh, is known by a lot of different labels and, um, and terms and we work with whatever is your, if you have a model, 
we work within yours, but we find that at the end of the day, all problem solving methodologies are really based on the scientific learning methodology of plan, do, check, and adjust. So we really work to establish standard work, identify the problems within standard work uh, or within the uh, systems of the lean management system launch into a problem solving effort with PDCA. Once we understand whether or not our problem solving activities have worked when we did our implementation, we thoroughly check to make sure that our countermeasures were effective. Then we make adjustments and very often that adjustment is a change to the standard work. Once we have this new standard in place and it is well established, then we're going to be moving on to the next level of continuous improvement and we repeat the cycle over again. Those improvements very often are in areas related to safety, qual quality, delivery, and cost. And in quality is where uh, we consider the customer first uh, perspective of uh, focus for the organization. So what's the role of leader standard work and lean leadership behavior? The, the important thing to know is if you put standard work in place and you also put in place the elements or the venues for leader standard work, it only continues as long as leaders are actively involved in executing leader standard work. It is not on its own a self-sustaining system. So leaders have to be continually engaged in checking for adherence to standard work, sufficiency of the standard work, because uh, from time to time, we find the standard work really is not as currently defined, sufficient to accomplish the key performance indicators that we have established. And that can happen for many reasons, but always remembering that standard work is our is the best way of doing work as we know it today but as we continue to practice standard work and a lean management system we will find better ways and we will find uh, new ways to improve the standard work documentation itself which will increase um, the knowledge and skill set of the entire organization and drive us naturally towards continuous improvement. And then we'll, we'll identify new problems along the way, as I talked about in the last slide. So the big change for leaders is that continu continual engagement in checking for adherence sufficiency and new problems. And what often we find happens in organizations is management gets distracted. The crisis of the day comes along um, and it um, takes away the attention of leadership in an organization. And it's a temptation to say, well, everything was great in those processes last week or I'm not really sure that this is a larger priority for me than dealing with this particular crisis that my boss has uh, called my attention to. And so management gets distracted and they begin to um, lose their discipline of regularly following leader standard work and their presence in the workplace diminishes. And so there's no one in the workplace actually modeling what lean leadership behaviors are supposed to look like. And so 
the attention of the organization will become distracted as well. So as soon as managers begin to pull away from uh, leader standard work and lean leadership behavior, then the next thing we see is that standard work starts to decay itself. So when there's no longer a focus on are we adhering to standard work or is the standard work sufficient, people will begin to think, well, that's not a requirement anymore. Nobody's talking about it anymore. And so I can go back to doing things my own way. And once that happens, then problem identification, problem solving, and improvement actually stops in an organization. And we often find that it really is the failure of leader standard work um, that leads to um, the failure of a lean transformation. So leader standard We lost her. Looks like we may have a timeout here. Sherry. All right, we heard you for a second there. Uh oh. I need to uh, allow her to log back in here. Apologize for the technical difficulties, everybody. Yeah, I think we've lost her completely. Um, just might need to give her a couple of seconds here to log back in. Okay, so Kathy said she just lost internet. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so um, what I would like to do is pull up the presentation and I can, uh, I can make our way through the rest of it here. Bear with me just a second here. Okay. All right, so I'll try and pick up where Kathy left off here. Um, all right, so what are lean leadership behaviors anyway and why are they necessary? Um, so the leadership mindset, um, when we look at process and results, both good and bad, uh, we end up with a matrix similar to this. So when you have bad process and, oh, here's Kathy. <laughs> hey, Kathy, are you back with us? Um, I'm showing she's still connecting. Okay, um, so uh, without process, you're not gonna have good results. Um, when you have uh, both bad process and force good results, you end up with that burnout condition because everybody's fighting fires, right? And when you have uh, good process with um, good results, you get a, an expected outcome. Um, Kathy, are you back with us here? Um, I think I am. Can you hear me? 
I can. So um, why don't you re reshare here? Okay. All right, there you go. I think we lost her again. Oh boy, okay. All right, um, let's see here. Why don't we do this? Um, since we are kind of running up against our time limit here, um, maybe we should cut to our finishing screen here. Okay, uh, not sure what's going on um, with Kathy's internet connection, but if you would like to continue this conversation, um, we are doing a full feature e-learning class around this, as I was saying earlier. Um, you can jump on our website, uh, themurleygroup.com, or email us at info at the Murley Group, and we can get you signed up for the class where we can dive into all of this stuff in, in depth and um, we'll make sure that we have a good internet connection next time. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, with that being said, um, I think that uh, we're gonna have to sign off here because Kathy doesn't appear to be functional at the moment, so. Rob, I, there is one question. I don't know if you want to address it or if you wanna hand it over or well. I know Kathy's not on here, but if you wanted to have Kathy maybe respond later or. Yeah, why don't we do that? Um, I'll have Kathy um, send an email out to the group. And uh, if there are any other questions, feel free to email the Murley group at info at the Murley group and we can address any questions you uh, might have about the content up until this point. So, sorry about that. Um, yes, we will share the slides. Um, we'll get those out to you this afternoon. There will also be a copy of this recording sent out to everybody who did um, register. And then if you guys would like more information, like Rob did say, just contact the Murley group directly and they can help you and answer any questions. Sounds good. All right, everybody. I apologize for the uh, technical glitches and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye everyone.